pad to trigger the different loops that I'm going to be recording. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record these on the fly and each um, each loop is going to go into one of these these different uh, clip slots here. You can see I already have some loaded up. These are the drum loops already. And what I also like to do is, especially because um, I usually am not using all eight um, of these uh, clip slots in my performances, I like to um, map these bottom ones to different uh, different parameters in Ableton. So actually you can override the the default mappings of the launch pad and and map these just in normal MIDI uh, MIDI parameters. So what I've done is I've mapped these ones right here to um, turn <coughs> uh, tracks on and off and I've mapped these bottom ones to uh, the record arm and I'm not really sure why they're not lighting up on the launch pad but um, the record arm of the different um, tracks. And so what that means is that I can, if I press this right here, then the first track is going to record the second one, and so on and so on. And one thing that's really important if you're going to do this is you want to make sure that the record arm is exclusive, meaning that only one uh, track can be recording at once. And the way that you do that is through the preferences, oh, what's wrong? Uh, the preferences in live. So if you go to record warp launch, It'll say exclusive, and you can actually choose that you want ARM to be exclusive. And that means that only one track can be recording at a time. And that's all that I've done in terms of per, uh, parameter mapping here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I've sort of cobbled together a workflow in uh, with Animoog.